Um, my dad's from Adelaide and is an Australian. Um, my nana's Irish, um, and so I've I've not I know of the legend of Ned Kelly. In terms of this story coming about, um, I didn't know Peter Kerry's book before the um, the option to uh, the option the opportunity to um, do the audition tape came through, and. Uh, once I knew, oh, I saw the true history of the Kelly Gang and knew that Justin was directing it, I just thought, you know, that, that character, that world, um, I was just, I wanted to be a part of it more than anything. So then obviously went and read the book, which is such a beautiful, kind of, kind of quite a strange novel in a way, the way that it's written, but it's an amazing piece of writing. Yeah, I think um, Fitzpatrick's a fascinating character, I think, because he's, he's, in a world that's quite sort of black and white in terms of, you know, good and bad, black and white, um, sort of criminal, not criminal. Those are the sort of strong archetypes and then there's a big sort of murkiness in between and, and Fitzpatrick definitely is within that. And I think Ned recognises that because Ned's within that as well. In terms of you guys, I know exactly which side of the line I'm on, but I know that I'm completely not that in general as well. Um, and so I think theirs is, is a mixture of ingrained attitudes towards each other, um, genuine sort of fascination and intrigue because of not being able to work the other one out. I think Ned's fascinated by Fitzpatrick. Yeah, I, th I think that the thing that um, Justin really likes it when everything's flipped and not played the obvious way and things that are meant to be aggressive are perhaps actually friendlier and things like this. and. Um, so it's the idea of Fitzpatrick actually really probably wanting to be friends with Ned and being intrigued by that family and, and, their, and their closeness and environment and what they are and probably being quite lonely. And we spoke a little bit about just like the outback and the desperateness of the times and the area and, and everything like that. So then it's a kind of thing of this character who's probably quite, quite lonely and, and doesn't particularly care about his policing, isn't good at it, um, and wants to be accepted and doesn't, and then gets embarrassed and reacts really poorly to that. Um, but it could have almost gone in a very different way, their relationship, whereby if a couple of small things had changed, they probably could have been lifelong friends that are kind of a, both a little bit on the dodgy side of humanity, but also friends through it, yeah. It's wonderful to watch George transform. I was a fan of his before this movie. Um, so to come down and watch him, how embedded he is in that character um, is remarkable. And just to see the physicality of it and also the vulnerability he's bringing to it um, is really beautiful. Um, yeah, just I've loved watching him in each thing. How was Mary? She was all right, huh? You're not going to get attached, are you, Ned? Otherwise, I'd done you a big disservice. Mary's character is not one of a wife's. You don't want to take this place home with you. Robinson's, it's just a place to seek sanctuary from life's monotony. Do you hate, do you hate me? Well, is it because I'm British or because I'm a trooper? I ain't never met a man like you who didn't want to take something from me or my family. Well, what would I wish to take, Ned? No, I haven't figured that out yet. Tell the truth. You're a dancing monkey. Go on, do it. A man cannot outrun his destiny. Your mother sold you. Fifteen pound you cost me. And you can learn that back. 
I were but a child, yet I were already traveling full tilt toward the man I would become. The child assassin. The butcher! The man, the myth, the legend? What makes you think I won't kill you right now? Because you're not the man you pretend to be. I'd rather see to it that your kind suffer. Either side of that whore you call a mother. I've got no choice but to lock you up. Your son intends to rescue you. He's a good boy. You go out there and be a big man. Hold up! Three! Two! One! Boys want to build an army. We're going to war. Fire! You're bloody bulletproof, boys! Many would call me the coldest bloody murderer ever. But others, knowing the truth, would call me a hero. Farewell of this world. All he's got left is his story.